Galactic explosions and collisions are a very common phenomenon in space. The Big Bang is one of the most significant and well-known explosions to ever take place in the universe. But astronomers now claim to have discovered what they are calling the largest explosion of all time. And it's happening 390 million light years away from us. Astronomers have just discovered the largest cosmic explosion since the Big Bang. The record-breaking gigantic eruption came from a black hole in a distant galaxy cluster millions of light years away. Welcome to Fact Nominal. And in today's video, we will be taking a close look at the biggest, baddest explosion in the history of the universe. It all began back in 2016, when a team of scientists discovered a huge dent in the Ophiuchus cluster through X-ray data. The supercluster that sits 390 million light years away from planet Earth began to exhibit a curious concave gas density continuity at the outer edge of its cool core. It was first discovered in the Chandra X-ray image by Norbert Werner and a team of collaborators while taking detailed pictures of the core of the Ophiuchus cluster for the simple purpose of studying it. But little did they know that what they were about to find in the images could completely change the way we view the universe. During the course of their observations, they stumbled upon a giant cavity, a big dark void spanning 750,000 light years wide. To put it into perspective, the hole is so big that it could actually very easily hold up to 14 Milky Way galaxies within itself. It completely took scientists and astronomers by surprise, and of course from there on, the speculation began. What could it possibly be? And why is it so massive? Galaxy clusters are the largest structures in the universe containing thousands of individual galaxies of all shapes and sizes, dark matter and hot gas which is all held together by gravity. Besides what you would usually find in a galaxy cluster such as this one, each cluster is also filled with a really hot thin plasma. It is so excruciatingly hot that it is capable of emitting intense X-ray radiation. Many theories were thrown around with some suggesting the possibility of a giant cavity in the cluster's plasma. But this was later dismissed as highly unlikely. They began to focus their attention on this massive oddity. One thing we know for sure in space, where there is a giant cavity or void in a volume of gas, there surely was an explosion. And judging by the sheer monstrosity of the hole that has been left over, that had to have been one of the biggest explosions ever in the history of the universe at least that we know of so far. Prior to the discovery of the new giant explosion, the largest known explosion was that of the two vast cavities in the hot X-ray emitting gas of the galaxy cluster MS0735. Each of the cavities are 600,000 light years in diameter and contain very little hot gas. The two voids appear on either side of the large galaxy at the center of the cluster which indicates that the gigantic eruption was seemingly caused by the galaxy's supermassive black hole right at the core. The magnitude of the explosion was so great and studies suggest that as large amounts of gas swirled rapidly towards the black hole in the center, the resulting electromagnetic fields ejected gas in the form of powerful jets full of high energy particles. As the jets blasted through the galaxy, it likely displaced the hot gas completely to the side, thus creating the two great cavities. Scientists have even estimated that the mass of the displaced gas is easily more than the mass of all the known stars in our Milky Way. And yet, with the new exciting discovery of the Ophiuchus cluster cavity, astronomers say that the amount of energy that would have been required to create a void as big as this would at least be five times greater than the amount of energy used to create the holes in the MS0735 galaxy. To really understand what went down here, let's back it up with a bit of science. We know of supergiant stars that reach the end of their days, where they burn bright and hot until they burst and go supernovae. The outcome of that could only be two things that we know of, a neutron star or supernova remnant. The brightest thing in the universe, or it could become a black hole. Black holes are undoubtedly the most mysterious of all objects in space and are known for being power-hungry, sucking up everything in their surroundings. But another thing that these black holes are capable of is massive cosmic explosions, and that's exactly what researchers believe happened in the Ophiuchus cluster. Oh, yes. 
As gas and dust swirl down towards a black hole, it compresses and begins to heat up. The gas is forced to occupy very little room as the space outside of the black hole is plenty, but on the inside, not so much. This superheated gas generates incredibly strong electric and magnetic fields, forcing all the materials surrounding the black hole to follow in their direction. Some material falls straight into the black hole, while some just gets whipped around and seems to follow its own complex trajectory. The material is then ejected from the poles of the black hole in opposite directions, like two giant jets of light. And if they are met with resistance within a galaxy cluster, it completely blows the whole thing wide open. Black hole explosions are so powerful, perhaps that was what was able to punch a massive hole straight through the Ophiuchus cluster plasma. If there were ever a competition for the best cosmic explosion in the galaxy, this one would surely be winning the gold. Once it became clear that there was more study needed into the huge void discovered in the Ophiuchus galaxy cluster, scientists and astronomers began putting together information from various sources. What was a small study then grew into a collaborative effort from all over the world. Researchers were able to gather radio data from the galaxy and began to compare it to the X-ray images that were first captured. After rigorous study, it was concluded that the cavity was in fact most certainly caused by a giant explosion in the galaxy, and the culprit was most definitely a supermassive black hole at its center. The explosion was so unbelievably huge that initially while studying the X-ray image, many people were initially skeptical that it could have been caused by an energetic outburst since it was unlike anything they had ever seen before. Perhaps there may have been gargantuan explosions, even larger than this one in the past. But this is the first of its kind that scientists actually have raw data and images of, making it all the more special. It was only when they combined the radio data that all of the speculation was put to rest. The collaborative efforts of X-ray data gathered from NASA's Chandra X-ray Observatory and the ESA's XMM Newton, along with radio data from the Murchison Wide Field Array in Australia and Giant Meter Wave Radio Telescope in India, are all being credited for the discovery of the mega cosmic explosion. What couldn't previously be established in the initial 2016 study, when it was first spotted, was finally understood four years later. All the combined data showed the curved edge that was observed was indeed a part of a cavity wall, because it borders an area rich in radio emission. The emission is likely to have resulted from when the black hole's violent outburst accelerated electrons to almost the speed of light, according to researchers. Study lead author Simona Giancantucci from the Naval Research Laboratory in Washington, D.C. said that the blast was somewhat similar to the 1980 eruption of the Mount St. Helens, which completely ripped off the top of the mountain. When explaining just how colossal the explosion is, co-author of the study Elaine Johnston Holly told BBC that the explosion could be compared to setting off 20 billion megatons of TNT explosions every thousandth of a second for about 240 million years. The new study and findings were published in the Astrophysical Journal. There is yet a lot of study to be done on the cluster to find out what, when, and how exactly all the events leading up to the explosion took place. Scientists have said that from the data they have analyzed, there doesn't seem to be any evidence of ongoing activity, at least for now. The Chandra data, however, has revealed that there is just one area of radio emission, which is actually quite odd. Ideally, black hole explosions go off in two different directions, like two massive bright jets. It could be that perhaps the jet feeding gas on the other side was less abundant and the emissions dissipated quicker than the other region. Researchers are keen to study this even further, to find out exactly why that is. As of now, what the implications of this explosion for planet Earth could be is still unclear. It would certainly be a sight to behold if we were able to witness a cosmic explosion like this one. However, as exciting as this discovery has been, we can all be grateful for the fact that we are millions of light years away. What do you think of the Ophiuchus cluster explosion? Do you think it was due to a black hole? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss another video. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.